What's good, everybody? Hey, check it out. I know you didn't seen that thumbnail. You didn't read that title, right? Today, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make some crispy, you know, fried chicken, right? So this right here is just some crispy buttermilk fried chicken. Now, let's get it. Hey, I'm not going to do no cuts or nothing like that. I'm going to just show you. When I tell you it's simple, it's simple. Look, let me just put this right here. Look, we're just going to do some. I'm going to do some, you know, leg drumsticks, and then we got some thighs, right? And they got, of course, it got the bone in. It's this right here. That skin is what we want, right? So we got flour cornstarch, got a little bit of salt, and then I did tell you guys already, it's buttermilk, right? So that's what it is, and then look, I got a carousel right here, look, nothing but, uh, you know, a bunch of flavor. Now you guys use what you, you know, would like. This right here, I've been using this, and I'm gonna continue to use this. Now that it's out, look, this is my Level Up series. Listen, if you're doing uh, chicken, uh, any poultry, uh, fish, you know what I mean, any of your light meats, like that pork, you know what I mean? This is what you want to use. So we're going to use this to season. We're going to season the chicken and we're going to season that flour. Now, with that being said, let me just go ahead and make sure that this has all been trimmed up and nice the way I like it. And then we're going to move forward. Okay, so look, we're going to start with the buttermilk, right? Because look, what we want to do is we want to create a nice little marinade, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and add some buttermilk in here. Hey, so look, I didn't have no hot sauce off, out, right? So look, this is Tabasco. Listen, we want to put a little bit of heat in there. You guys know I'm like a lightweight when it comes to the heat. But look, when you do this chicken, though, you got to add a little, little bit of this in here. But check this out, folks. We got to put some in here. And now we got to go ahead with the seasoning, too. And this is what I do. You know what I mean? Again, I'm using my A-series at a level up. You know what I mean? This is it right here. Check it out. We want to put some in here, and we want to be able to see it. You know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. Now we just go ahead and give it a, a nice mix. Maybe later on down the line, I got a video with it too. I could introduce that pickle juice. You know what I mean? Hey, I got tricks for y'all folks. So now that we got that mixed up, now what I'm gonna do is just start adding my chicken pieces to it. You know what I mean? This is why you wanna have a glove, you know what I mean? Cause I gotta make sure everything is submerged. And this is a lot of chicken, you know? This will feed a family of, you know, four, like, nice. This might do five, you know? But I'm gonna get in here. Just give me one second. So now I'll just take my hand, make sure that everything is coated, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some saran wrap, put it over the top. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna go for a minimum of two hours, right? But to be honest with you, I'm probably gonna go four hours. Four hours is a good base, you know? If you can, overnight, if you got any forethought about what you're making. Now that we got our chicken in the refrigerator, it's marinating, right? Hey, you gotta remember this too, cause listen, I tell you this when you're cooking meat, even though we gonna come out of the refrigerator, it's gonna be cold, I like to let it sit up and it's need to cut, get to like room temperature. So when I take it, I'm gonna probably put it on a, uh, a baking sheet and let some of that buttermilk just, you know, drip down a little bit, but I want it to come to room temperature, temperature. Cause after I put the flour on there and then I put it inside of this, I want it to be, you know, cook evenly and cook throughout. Hey, so with that being said, let me just go ahead. We finna do our flour, right? This right here is the whole key. You know what I mean? You remember your grandma used to make the good fried chicken? And you could never really replicate that. You know why? Because your grandma would probably season her flour just right. Again, I'm finna come with this right here. I'm not gonna keep talking about it. You see it. Hey, for those of you guys that get a chance to eat it, they'll spread the word. You know what I mean? This right here would be fire. Look, we want season. And even though that I'm seasoning like that, check this part out. I always come with my black pepper, right? I want you guys to twist. If you're doing it and you, you know, grinding it yourself, grind it till you're tired. I like to say this is the magic, but it's my seasoning that's the magic. But anyway, if you guys want it to be a little bit on the crispier side, go ahead and add yourself like a quarter cup. You know what I mean? Just a quarter cup of this right here. I want you guys to let me know how many tablespoons in a quarter cup. You'd be surprised. If you didn't know, look that up. And then for those of you guys who got an uh, Amazon Alexa, I'm finna say this. Alexa, that's for y'all. <laughs> and then before I mix, give it just a couple of pinches of salt. This right here just kicks it up and gives us that. That's what's gonna make it pop, folks. So, go ahead and mix it. Then when I look at it, I don't really see a whole lot of pepper. So that tells me I'm finna come with a little bit more pepper too. You guys know you done had that homemade chicken. 
you know, we fry chicken and then you look at it, you can see the specks of black pepper on the outside. Well, that's what we want to have here too. And then remember, this was white. You can see I added the seasoning to it, but I like to see mine a little bit more in a different color. You know what I mean? So I go like this. You know what I mean? I'm just going to add this a little bit more. And again, right? We hit it with the black pepper. It's been about three hours and uh, it's been right around three hours, 20 minutes, something like that, right? So look, I brought this out. I let it go ahead and sit, so this will start coming up to room temp, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take the saran wrap off. So you can get it like a, a visual, right? You could take it and do like, you know, shake off as much as you can and then put it over there. But for me, I still want it to, you know, go ahead and warm up. That's the key. I don't wanna burn it, but I want it to be cooked throughout, right? So we just take it and just set it here and let it kind of like just drip just a little bit. You don't want it to be like too, you know, too over, I guess I, the word I'm looking for is like just oversaturated with buttermilk, right? But this right here, and then when you trim them, look at them pieces right there. Those right there are right, right? So let me get these out, and then we're gonna go ahead and start bringing our temp, you know, our oil up to temp. Okay, so you wanna make, wanna make sure you got a, like a meat thermometer or if you got a deep fryer that you set the dial, I do 375, you know? So we got that, that's coming up to temp, it's almost ready. This is drained enough. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this in here like this. But check this out what I do. I just put this over here like this for all you guys that never made. I don't wanna say it like that, like, but just some, a lot of people I talk to say, ain't no need to make it, you know, it's just too easy to go buy fried chicken. But you know, I like to just squeeze it like this because I want every nook and cranny to just be covered, right? So we get it like that, and then I shake it off. And then you know what I do? I let it sit up just for a minute. You know what I mean? So by the time I get through with all of this, if you can, let it sit up for about 10 more minutes, you know? So let me just go ahead and coat everything. Look, I like to see it everywhere. So I get in here with my hand like that and I take it and I squeeze it. You'll see it start to turn a different little color. You know what I mean? That's because that's the buttermilk starting to soak into the, you know, your flour cornstarch mix. But look at this right here. Hey, you see that right there? You see that? Ooh wee. That's what you gonna want. Okay, you guys, look, take a look at this right here. Look, when you let it sit up, you can see everything kind of like just marinate, you know, together. You can see the way, you look at the, you can see the, like the, I want to say it's a discoloration, but that has like a, a, a negative stigma to it. But you can just see how the white of the flour and the buttermilk has like kind of like changed it. And you can see, you can see like the orange and all of that. That'll be from the seasoning. So look, we're going to take it and I'm going to put this in here gently. Here we go. Oh yeah. Can just look at this and see that I'm using a hex clad. Look, this is a frying pan, pan right? How many of y'all remember this? You know what I mean? Look, the splash guard, but since it's hex clad, I got it. I just want to say, I suggest everybody to do any type of frying to get yourself one of these. Look, it keep all of the grease from around your stove, off your counters or however you're cooking. You know what I mean? And uh, they say it like cut down on the odor too. But this right here is what I got. Get yourself one. Hey, check it out. You can see some of these is missing. Listen, people have been like grabbing them, you know, taking them, and then look, they got them staged behind the camera because they ready to, you know, for me to put some more in there. But right now, you know what, it's time for me to get down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this piece right here because this one got my name on it. So check it out, folks. Cheers. Mm. I don't know about y'all. I hope the mic picked it up. We said crunchy, right? Bingo. And it's clean. Now hold on. <laughs> hey, check it out. And then when I tell you it's clean, it's clean. Uh, listen, we gotta take this part. You, you gotta take this away when doing chicken. A lot of people don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? I've eaten at people's homes and sometimes you get it and there's a little bit dark blood, you know, uh, around the bone or whatever. You know what I mean? Listen, so look, when you first put it in there, this is just a little pro tip coming from me. You guys let me know down in the conversation below how you do it. But I like to like, 
start at like 375, even if it's at 380, I know I'm gonna be putting chicken inside, so I know it's going to drop down, right? So look, after you do your flour and you put your, you know, your cornstarch in there, right? And then you sit it in there, listen, you only wanna flip it. I guess you would, once you put it in there and you get it right, then you flip it on the other side. That's all you need to do, because once you flip it over, that's, you know, as the grease drips down off at the top, because we're not submerging it, that's what helps it get, you know, crispy. If you flip it back over there, it's gonna create a soggy skin for you. It'll look good, but it's gonna create it, you know, to be uh, soggy. Hey, with that being said, look, let's open up the dialogue down in the comment section below. Let's talk fried chicken, right? So now listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just ask you this. I want you guys to go to my channel. You know what I mean? If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe, smash that like button and tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I got these people looking at me and I know I got to get here and start frying some chicken. So guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.